and she has been phenomenal this season. Not many opponents have been able to quell that fire that she possesses. Bulldogs coming in as the 10 seed, playing very, very well, too. They've won nine of their last 12. Our Capital One starting lineups. And for the Lady Bulldogs, they've got size. Brittany Smith, 6'3". They have three off the bench who are over six feet tall. But Georgia has to make shots to have a chance today. Absolutely. You know what they're going to bring on the defensive end. They need to balance that out with their offensive prowess for sure. But this matchup that Georgia likes to employ. Look at how they got the steal on this first possession by Iowa on the offensive side. Chapman on the other end. Good dish underneath for the strike. They defeated the number seven seed FSU 66-54. That one is in and out by Clark. And that's a quick strike that Iowa was looking for. If you're not arriving on the catch, if you're Georgia on defense, Caitlin Clark's going to let that thing fly. Georgia's going to be chasing her all day long. Coach Abe was talking about that. She doesn't need but a half second to catch and release it. Battles. Got it to go. Diamond Battles with 21 points against Florida State in round one. She can fill it up. She can. And Coach Abe said that she's a dog. She just wants this moment. Sonata underneath. Second effort up and in on the second try. 22 in round one for Monica. She's 6'3". Pull up, pop, and that's going to be swished home by Smith. Nice soft touch by Brittany Smith there in the short corner. Sonata on the entry. Can't get that one to drop. Iowa averaging about 88 a game. Open look here for Chapman, and it's a round and up. And Sonata with the rebound. She falls in about seven a game. Look at Clark. Yes! She gets to that logo. You're grabbing my arm as she comes across <laughs> midcourt. Like, look out. Like they need it. Smith knocks that one down. Brittany Smith, Georgia's second leading scorer and rebounder. She had a game earlier this season against Bandy. That one out of the corner. Drilled in by Martin. Who hits 39% from three-point territory. Great rebounder. She pokes it away from behind. Smith did not see her coming. Look at the pass inside. Sonato. And one. Just dropped 26 against Ohio State. And a Big Ten championship game. Clark responsible for, this is astounding, 52% of their offense. That's just insane. When you think about that and how important she is to the success of this team, number two in the country for a reason, the number two seed in this NCAA tournament. She is the straw that stirs the drink for this Iowa team. Warren downstairs. And a whistle and a foul on Martin. It's not that big a deal for the Lady Bulldogs. They're used to playing in front of big road crowds. They've done it at South Carolina. They've done it at LSU. They know what it takes. No question about it. Coach Abe was telling us this is not new. We, we love this. The last three games that they've lost have been to South Carolina and LSU twice. And so one of those LSU losses was on the road in overtime. In and out for Nicholson. Makes 65% at the line. So Iowa... By two, a raucous start as expected. These fans have been ready for this game all season long to finish it off like this. Warren in transition with the scoop. No. Here comes Clark again. Up ahead, Warnock. Warnock draws the foul in the act of shooting. Honorable mention, all big ten. Very strong on the glass. For more information, go to NCAA.com. Your home for all 90. NCAA championships. Sweet 16 on the line. Georgia's had great success in the tournament for a lot of decades. Nicholson, high bounce. O'Grady got her hand on it, deflected that one out. 4.45 to go here in the first quarter. Georgia. And here are some examples of that extension of defense that Coach Abe wants to put out here. Look at how high they are up in their matchup. She doesn't like to call it a zone. She likes to call it a matchup. They are everywhere, and they force turnovers, and then they can push the ball the other way. You know, Coach Abe in 2021, she was coaching UCF. She brought her team in here to Iowa City. They gave the Hawkeyes a really tough game as Battles connects.
That's 69-61 Iowa, but they held Clark to just three out of 12 from the three-point line. And she was five of 17 in that game was Caitlin Clark, so they know all about her. Caitlin Clark even referenced it and said, we know about this style of play and we're prepared. Martin downstairs will back it away. Very much a coach on the floor, wants to be a head coach one day. On the turnover, Lewis with Clark on her and drops it in. What a smart way to use the body. Lewis felt the footsteps of the lanky Caitlin Clark creeping up behind her. Clark on the baseline. Usually drawing two or three bodies. Going to turn that one over. And Georgia with an opportunity to grab the lead. Nine turnovers now for Iowa. Five of them right now, excuse me. But they are having trouble, I think. Their offense has been disruptive by the discipline on defense by the Bulldogs. That is an Achilles heel for them. Oh, battles from downtown. Only hits about 25% from there. But Abrahamson Henderson told us if it came down to one shot to win it, that's who they want to take the shot. Absolutely, and it's because of her attitude, not her statistics. She has the guts to pull a shot like that in the clutch. Clark straight on and nothing but net for the All-American. Speaking of guts. <laughs> to pull shots when the team needs the momentum. Nicholson harassed, hits the deck. A scrap for that, Georgia wins it. They've got six to get off the shot. Battles will heave it. And Davis is down for Iowa. Molly Davis down in some pain. The sweet young lady, hopefully she'll be okay. Stolke, by the way, hit 13 in round one. So that's a big miss, especially given the size of Georgia. Yeah, no question. Count that. Getting it inside to the big. Sonato drops it and will be at the line. Positioning very well. Jan Jansen, one of the assistant coaches for Iowa, has worked tirelessly with the post players at Iowa over the years. And they have just really embraced the challenge of being efficient on the inside. Sonato with a couple of misses at the line here early. There's one of them. That glances away. Big rebound there by Smith. Gets it back. Rolls off the iron. She had a couple of cracks in it right there. We can't ask for better looks than those three that Georgia has, and you got to put those down. Sonato went for the scoop. Warnock, one dribble down, and banks it in. Bates looking inside. Throws it away. Yeah, they travel. They want to travel to Seattle. Yes. Turned over. In transition. Battles. Up ahead for Smith. Georgia with the strike. Smith so silky right there at the rim with the finger roll. It's a tough finish, but that's what Georgia does. They steal and score. Marsh with a leader. No. Georgia not in time to get off a heave, but sticking right with Iowa, the number two seed. As March Madness rolls on. Coming off the fingertips of Sonato. Look at what we have here. A turnover game. Nine points off the of turnovers so far. Early on for Georgia. Marshall has had the hot hand with a triple. Knocking it down. She's only six points a game, but given the right circumstances, and you can see a 20-point game. This is the large lead for a couple of Hall of Famers and Andy Landers and C. Vivian String. Another foul here. You know, when I was playing, we went all the way to the Final Four, and I was crushed. We were 29-3, and three, but we lost in the semifinals. And I was devastated because I didn't set my mind that way to think that there was even a slim possibility to lose. She's a dynamite defender. Mm -hmm. If you're sleeping for a second, you're going to lose the basketball. Now don't blink. Warnock zips it here for Marshall. Straight on a long one and absolutely buried by Warnock. She's 39% at second best in the team after Clark. She can really shoot it. Well, that's what Iowa needs to do. Entry here for Smith. Short on it. The dribble down up and in. Sweet move there by Isaacs. Isaacs off balance somehow. Smooths that off the window to finish that play. Marshall's open. There's another one. Lewis decides to try a long one and buries it. 
but waved that off and a foul off the shot. Oh my. And a foul against Georgia, so no basket. Boy, that was a tough shot in terms of degree of difficulty. Foul went against Isaac, and another one will drop from way downtown. Iowa can't miss out there. Warnock with another. Holding my breath again. Get used to it, partner. <laughs> she, she comes over half, and she lets it go. Battles, letting it go. 26 double-figure scoring games. Second team all. Stepping back. That three too long, and she's a little bit off at the moment. But that's not going to stop her. I mean, she's high risk, high reward with everything that she does on the court. Wow, Lewis just comes down and drills it. 5'7", senior, so good with the basketball, too. Only 50 turnovers all season long. And she led the SEC with assist to turnover ratio with two and a half. Marshall was becoming a three-point shooting contest. <laughs> Colin and Blake. With the number two seed, Georgia the number 10 seed. Clark's pass knocked away. Mark thought about a triple and throws it away. Right to Zoisha Smith, and she's going to drive it and miss it. Battles underneath. She goes down, colliding with her own teammate. Went down, stumbling over Smith. I think the crowd here wanted to travel. The point of contact on the floor with the basketball. Nicholson, solid drive and the foul on Addison O'Grady. You've got to be more careful. One of the reasons that Ann had that look on her face is everybody in this building knows Iowa went out in the second round last year. Exactly. And so there's that nightmarish feeling, but you're playing a Georgia Bulldog team. Lady Bulldog team can really play defense. Maybe that's sitting in the back of their heads because all five starters returned from last year. When I come the corner, not this time. So not a tough rebound. Everything's been tough for her underneath. Yeah. And another turnover. Kicked around a bit, battles going down, undercut and a foul against Iowa. Now Falter with the personal. Two shots here for Diamond Battles, makes 75%. Scored over a thousand points in her career. In her fifth year out of Winter Haven, Florida. Gaudy stat line, which she had 21 points against Florida State in the first round. But she has wisdom. Senior Molly Davis back on the floor. Good sign there. Yes. After she went down and went to the trainer's room for a while. Here's Clark. Now two for eight. Another battle for the rebound. It seems like, you know, two out of every three times you see one of those, Georgia comes away with the basketball. Here's Lewis. Yes, sir. A three-pointer on the money. And the Lady Bulldogs have surged into the lead on a 9-0 run. Sonano in. Yes. But that's been a rarity. Nicholson driving it, trying to get off a shot, and did not. That's a shot clock violation. I don't think there's any question about it. The Hawkeyes are missing Hannah Stolke. Yes. No question. I mean, she plays 13 minutes a game, but she shoots 60%, and she gives Monica Sonano a break. Marshall. Yes. With a three. Battles to launch and banks it in and she holds out her hands like hey it went <laughs> Clark on the move leaning in yes and a foul Caitlin Clark has so much size and that burst of speed that first step gets her by the defender Not a lot of people have been able to disrupt the fire that she possesses inside Can't connect on the foul shot 41 38 Opportunity here for Georgia to tie this up before halftime. Seven seconds to go. Smith dumping it inside. Nicholson with a dribble down. Yes, it rolls in. That's the end of a very entertaining first half here. And a very tight... They have not had clean opportunities to score the ball. 52% of the offense, remember, is in the hands of Caitlin Clark, whether she's scoring or facilitating. Looked like they were going to be off to the races. They led 31 to 21, but Georgia came back largely on the play of their bench, outscoring the Iowa bench. Another miss here by Clark. 14 to nothing in the first half. That's big time because McKenna Warnock and Gabby Marshall, they combined to shoot six of eight from three. That'll spin in for Smith, and that puts Georgia 
on top, 42-41. And that's a sweet spot that Georgia has been able to attack. That short corner, that dunker spot, that area there. Quickly inside for Sonato. Clark to Sonato inside. That help side was small. And is this the kind of second half we're going to have? Back and forth. Here's Lewis. A little bit short for that triple. Sonato digging out another rebound. She had a frustrating first half. She scored a little bit, but she also had a lot of opportunities that did not go her way. Martin will flip back for Clark. She'll launch it. Got it. And Caitlin with 11. And now 901 points as well. Second player in Iowa history. Got 900 in the season. Spin inside and a foul. Isaac's going in tough. And more size coming on. A 6-4 O'Grady to replace Sonano. See, this is where Hannah Stokey would come into the game. But as we said in that first half, she rolled her ankle at the end of practice yesterday. Well, the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship. Continues today on CBS, TBS, and TNT. For more information on uh, tournament game times and networks, go to NCAA.com. So many upsets. Double figure seeds having their way. And sometimes it's about style of play, right? It's about your defense. That's what we've seen. Well, pass again. Never arrives. Smith on the attack. Rolls it in. And ties the game at 46. And Caitlin Clark, Dave, couldn't challenge that play because she has those three fouls. Normally she would have tried to swat at it or get a block with those long arms. Decided better of it. Great discipline by Clark, but a strong steal and finish by Georgia once again. Clark with an open look. Switches in to triple. Open means a split second. With Caitlin Clark, and they lead it by three. Nicholson, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Exactly five minutes to go in the quarter. Iowa by three points. What a moment for I her. Mean, oh. And for this program. Amazing. I just think she has separated herself with plays like that. Here's Martin. You know, put herself on a different level nationally because she's become a household name. Yeah, a clutch performer. I mean, Sue Bird has tipped her hat. Diana Taurasi, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant. They recognize a gamer when they see one. Game recognizes game. Nicholson with a hook in the paint. And knocked away. It will be Georgia ball, they say, off Clark's hand. Be busy in the passing lanes. Get those deflections. Those count for your plus minus. That's in the formula. Get your hand on the basketball. Go for it. Georgia right now looking for diamond battles at 16 in the first half, not scored in the second half. Nicholson, nice looking shot there. I'm telling you, that pinch post, short corner area. Sonano to her right, and yes. I'm sure she said beautiful on that one. Nice spacing created the opportunity for individual coverage on the inside. Warren short with a long one, comes right back for Nicholson. She was all alone in the paint for an easy two. Way downtown. That won't fall. Clark hit the deck. She thought she got a foul. Well, trying for the three. Been a lot of that in the men's NCAA tournament. A lot of fouls on three-point attempts. Yes. Lewis to the baseline. Tough pass. Nicholson converts again. And here comes Georgia. Let's see if Iowa can settle and be composed. See how early they're picking up Clark. Got to pick up Sonato, too. Down it goes. She has 14. Oh, my. Boy, is it entertaining to watch those two work. Mm. Tremendous chemistry. That's why Monica Sonano wanted to come back for her fifth year. Well, I would, too. Foot. I would, too. <laughs> Here comes Clark now. Marshall. Yes. Another assist for Clark. No foul there as Marshall went down. Crowd looking for an offensive, didn't get it. Nicholson's getting a touch every time down. Off the iron. 
About a minute to go in the quarter. Warnock. Yes. Iowa surging now. Smith trying to dump it for Nichols, and a whistle, a foul from behind for Clark. The way Caitlin Clark can connect her team with fluidity of thought is so impressive to me. The Georgia hanging with them. Caitlin Clark taking her sweet time here. 15 seconds left in the third. Stumble there. Georgia went for the save. Clark comes up with it. Zips it here for Marshall. Not there. He about tipped around. Battles trying to get off a heave right on that side, and it's blocked away. That is the end of the third. So we are on to the fourth quarter. How will this one turn out? Iowa by four over Georgia. For them to bear down and fight for what they didn't get last year. They're thinking about that for sure. Georgia thinking about an upset. As the number 10 seed trying to knock off the number two here in Iowa City. 3-2 zone by Iowa here. Getting it downstairs for the strike as Brittany Smith is on target. Georgia's done it with composure and poise against Iowa's zone. England Clark contributed to all of Iowa's 17 points in that third quarter. But they turn it over again. That's been an issue all day. Smith again gets double up this time. She goes down and travels with it. Great defense by the Hawkeyes. Double team walling up. Exactly. It's loud in here. Internally, maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah. Clark on the drive. Denied, and they do blow the whistle. De Kantner gets a foul there. So Clark for two. The junior from West Des Moines. And still looking, and Dad still looking like, eh, I'm not so sure. Uh, Dad looks a little more concerned. On um, that one, usually it's mom. She was wringing the hands before this game started, and now she's, well, there, there she goes. <laughs> it's stressful for moms and dads. Iowa by four. Lewis wants one. That goes up and over the backboard. Back over to Iowa goes. Winner moving on to Seattle. Clark responsible for each of Iowa's last 21 points. That's just phenomenal. And that's what separates her. Three-level scorer and facilitator. Another one there for Warnock. Her 42nd of her career. That's a travel. Her awareness level is so elite. She knows how to draw the defense and find her teammates where they want the ball and where their skill set presents a strength. Up and in by Sonano. Georgia with a timeout. The beneficiary of a lot of those passes has 16, also eight rebounds. And she's worked for them. She wants to be a podiatrist when her career is over. That one switched in. This building sold out for rounds one and two in about 52 minutes. That's insane, but they have sold out every single one of their home games this year. They've only lost one 17 and one record here at Carver Hawkeye Arena. Not a great dish. Sonato again. Good job by Clark to shore up that elbow area. Those are the windows of the zone. Straight on, and she sticks it a two-pointer. Warnock up top. Pass never arrived again. Georgia with another pick. And a foul by Marshall in the backcourt. Their chemistry and love of the game. But boy, would they love to continue. They have 11 returners to their roster this year. All five returning starters for the third season in a row. Georgia right there, however. On a turnaround, Smith, and an outstanding shot by the 6-3, fifth-year player. Diamond Battles, by the way, with 21 points as well for the Lady Bulldogs. 3-17 to play. Once again, they want Sonata to touch it. She'll get fouled on the play. And it'll go against Jordan Isaacs. And now you're giving an advantage to the offensive player. Sonano, 78% foul shooter, drops in number one. 
Unanimous first team all Big Ten. You mentioned shooting around 67% from the field. And makes them both at the line. Without Hannah Stolke to spell her at all. The decibels are at 119, and we've been advised that that could really impact your hearing ability. Yeah, I can vouch for that. <laughs> I'm glad we have the headsets on then. Warren will lock it up there. Got it! Georgia with a big three. Cutting this game to two. Martin. Sonato again. It rolls off the ten. Georgia with a chance to tie or take the lead right here. Under two minutes to play. At Carver Hawkeye. And they're on the edge of their seat. That's turned over by Georgia. Lewis just lost it. We thrive in environments like this. It's a challenge for us to step up and embrace the moment. Been a while since Iowa has put one up and in and can't do it here. The kick out for Martin. Here's Clark. Clark to the paint. Pulls up. Another miss. Iowa leading 68-66. Georgia turned the ball over last time down. 115 to play. Diamond battles. Throw it away. Right to Clark. Wow. She just didn't understand on that particular play where to put the basketball. You put the ball down, you have to have a plan of attack. That's two huge turnovers back to back by Georgia at a critical time. 50 seconds to go. The player of the year candidate Clark with it. Trying to make a move. Using the window for two. Inbounded to Lewis. Smith went down, got right back up. She's got it. Warren. And turned over again. The third time in a row by Georgia. Clark across midcourt. 27 seconds to go. Three on her, and she'll get the timeout. And Luca Garza just got off the plane with the Minnesota Timberwolves from Sacramento and came to cheer on. Battles with the pick. Diamond Battles on the move. She'll drive it. Can't connect. Iowa with another big rebound. Clock ticking away. And another foul as Warnock went down hard. Now they called the wrong foul on the floor, so Lewis still has one to get. Martin for Marshall. And a foul there on the baseline as Marshall went down hard. Really got hit in the face. Yeah, right here. Just trying to just get the pass. That, oh. So they're going to take a look at this. A possible upgrade on Isaac's foul. And the crowd howling here. And it'll be Caitlin Clark at the line, 84%. Contact to the face. The reason for the upgrade. And buries them at the line. And a chance for Iowa fans to start celebrating. Mark with 20 points, 12 assists, big foul shots at the end. 3.8. Iowa from midcourt to put it in. And in for Clark. And draws the foul at 1.6. She goes sprawling. She went sprawling into her own bench. And it looks like that was whistled intentional without even reviewing it, even though they will be taking a look. Here's Caitlin Clark going and Nicholson giving her an extra curricular two-hand shove. Yeah, this is very unfortunate for Georgia with the game that they have played today yeah. to have it end like this. Yeah, just frustration. This Georgia ball club. Very rough fouls at the end. Clark will bury it. And two more for Caitlin Clark. 74-66. And Kate Martin, in her fairness here, can't back up because she's like an inch away from us. And she just turned around to us and said, isn't this fun? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's her. And that is going to do it. Iowa 
moves on to the Sweet 16. They are headed for the Emerald City in Seattle.